Hello, hello, a new one for you today, ladies and gentlemen. This video is brought to you by Surfshark. It is a VPN service provider that makes online privacy easy and attainable. That is my Range Rover in the background. Let's just get in a second. So Surfshark basically just makes sure that what you're doing online is encrypted both to and from your devices. I'll just jump in the range here. It actually ensures the IP address remains hidden and it is blocked from people viewing it. Not only that, but it blocks malware, phishing, ads, and all sorts of other jazz that actually, frankly, spoil your internet experience. And unlike other VPN service providers, you can actually use it on multiple devices simultaneously. If you go get involved and download it right now, you'll see how easy it is to use. Everything is laid out really, really simply, and a baboon like me can work it out, then you'll be absolutely fine. As you may well have guessed, in my field of work, I am online 24-7, it feels like. But the average person is actually online six to eight hours a day. So you actually spend often more time online than you do asleep. Fairly scary. And all the while you're online, you are transmitting personal data all over the place. Surfshark actually protects that personal data and keeps it from the wrong hands. One thing that I often worry about when I'm going to other countries or even just traveling around, traveling to work, less so now on the on the tube and whatnot. One thing that I personally worry about when I'm out and about, and especially using public Wi-Fi spots, is actually your credit card and personal information being stolen whilst you're using other people's networks. We all use them, we all use hotspots, but Surfshark actually stops that information getting out and again getting into the wrong hands. That's actually quite a good one, especially when you're on public transport the whole time and you're all over the place logging in. It's just a weight off your mind. Also quite cool and quite relevant at the moment if many of us are isolating or in lockdown wherever we are in the current crisis if you can't find a tv series or movie on any streaming platform in your country despite paying the fee try looking in other countries for instance the hobbit is only available on netflix uk with surfshark you can choose any country to stream from without even being there another bugbear of mine is bandwidth and connection speed if you use Surfshark to block ads, that can actually speed up your internet connection because ads use data just like everything else. So if you're getting pop-up ads all over the place and silly things churning and whirring away, if you're cutting those out, you actually save bandwidth and it actually can speed up your connection. The good news about all of this, if you use the link below and my code, you get 83% off for a limited time only and one month for free. Now that's a ridiculous offer and it won't last forever. Make sure you click the link below Get in the mix and happy browsing. For now though, we've got a Stonk River video on the way, so let's get on with it. Welcome back to TGTV, and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to London. It's YouTube Square. I'm back churning a video. This video is one with a difference on this channel, actually. I'm breaching new territory. I am with Modified Car this evening, ladies and gents. I'm doing new things on this channel. It's all very exciting. I may not know what I'm talking about in this video, but I'm going to learn. I think you might have just got a corner of it in there. But I'm out in the AMG GT anyway and I'm here to meet my friend Andrew. You can actually probably see him in the background, but he's brought out a very special piece of kit. It's an Audi R8 unlike any other you've probably ever seen. M5 competition, nicely does it. So without further ado then, we're gonna get Andrew into the uh, into the video here. Mahmood's there as well. Say hello Mahmood. Stop blocking Andrew, people aren't here to see you. <laughs> um, so we're gonna get him in, we're gonna talk about the car and basically show you what on earth he's done to it, because I've never seen an R8 like this. So here we go then, the car in question. It is an emerald green over kind of gold bronze. Actually those wheels, we're gonna get onto them, but I'm gonna get someone with more of a clue. In the mix, ladies and gentlemen, it's Andrew. Hello, welcome to the channel, should we do a high five? High five. There we go. This is Andrew, I'll leave his Instagram on the screen, probably up here somewhere. Go and check him out. He's into the modified scene and there's uh, some uh, chaotic stuff going on. So Andrew, do you want to actually explain what on earth has happened here and what you've done with the car because to be honest with you 
my viewers, I, I don't know if they're, they're into the kind of whole bagged car thing. I, I don't know. I don't know if they know what they're doing. So educate us, please. Okay, so when I first got the car, literally this time last year, I got it wrapped straight away. So right. I wrapped my red studios in Emerald Green. Right. And then we have just done a big modification on the car, which is banging it. Right. right. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Set on there as well. That was all done by Plush Automotive. Uh, with the bag scene, so you have basically two main things that you need to buy for your car to bag your car. Right. You need to buy the management and the air and the compressor and the tank and all of that, and you have to get the struts. Now, for my car, they didn't actually have struts made to bag my car, so we had to go custom with it. And ABP Suspension, which is in partnership with Plush Automotive, use Bilstein struts to make the air ride. So actually. It drives like it's on coilovers. So really? really well. So that means this is a one-off thing? Because I can't imagine there's many people bagging Audi R8s. Is there anyone in the UK that's done this? There was someone that Plush did actually three years ago. Yeah. Um, which looked pretty good. A lot of Gen 1s are bagged. Um, but Gen 2, one, uh, one that Plush did, which they just kind of modified the struts. And the Hurricane, Andy Caffin is cool. If you ah, see yeah. Instagram, he's just bagged his Hurricane, which is effectively the same car. I, I mean, it, it's Plush. got Audi bits underneath it. The suspension actually yeah. says Audi on it on the Hurricane. Yeah, it's pretty anyway. Same car. Let's go around the car then. Let's go around. Should we let us let us start with the wheels because these are very very aggressive. They're obviously rotiform, and you were saying these are three piece. Yep. So they're three piece forged wheels. We've kept the rigidity and kept the lightness going with the forged wheels, but we've gone three piece on them uh, this time to make it that little bit more special. So there, you've got the barrel, you've got the lip, and you've got the face. I've gone for a brushed gloss bronze lip and a matte brushed gold face, which are both speciality finish finishes with rotiform and candy gold hardware. The only thing that's missing is I need to get this in diamond gold as well. They are on route, are they not? They are on their way. We've had a conversation prior to this and I've retained some of the information for once in my life. Yeah. So those are going gold and you've got three different colors in there and that means you can just customize them however you want as well. So that's, how much are we talking for a set of them retail? Retail, we're probably looking at eight or nine grand, but that's chaos. You can go even higher end. So I know Brixton Forge, you're looking at maybe 12 grand. But, or ten and a half, and if you go lower wow. end, you go five and a half. They make the wheels on my AMG GT look even worse than they already are. <laughs> we were laughing at them earlier. Anyway, right, let's come around the car then. It's actually a very high spec car as well. You've got all the carbon everywhere. A lot of the R8 V10 Pluses I've seen don't actually have that, so you've done well off the bat there. It does look very nice. Are there spaces on the wheels? Uh, so we actually only put five more spaces just to ah. avoid any rubbing with the bags. I mean, they're super wide anyway. Yeah. They're uh, sticking out all over the place. We didn't need the spaces, but just for clearance purposes. It does look really, really good, to be honest with you. I was saying to Andrew earlier, actually, that I obviously spec my Hurricane Performance and it's exactly the spec, so I'm a huge, huge fan. And I think you've actually improved the way it looks. Often when people modify cars, they ruin them, but you actually improve the way that looks. And you say it drives like it's on callovers. It does drive like it's on callovers. That's mad. Which is a big, big plus. It doesn't ride that, ride that much different to stop, which is a big plus because yeah. the suspension is actually fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It very, very, very similar. Right then, the inevitable thing now. Can you make it go up and down? I can make it go up and down. Idiot question there. I want to see how this is done in here. And we'll also have a look in the front as well. And look how it's all been put together. So it's all in there. Yeah. Plush have made a custom panel there to fit the controller and my little logo there as well. That's very cool. So it does look OEM, doesn't look like anything. Been distracted by the logo on your mats. Of we'll course. get on to that. <laughs> and then, yeah, you just press this button here. So I've got three wide heights set up. Right. If I want to go with speed bumps. That's off-road mode. That's hell. Off-road. <laughs> then my normal driving height, which is this one. So that's around town or whatever. A happy medium there, lad. And I can go full lock on this, so no stress on that as well. And then when I'm on the motorway, just cruising in a straight line, I can go this low. That's hell. I'm going to come around the front here. That looks so sick, and it makes you realise how high standard cars actually ride. That is cash. There we go. It's basically touching the floor. <laughs> Are you not tempted just to like prod the buttons when you're driving along, or, or do you do that? Or maybe I'm retarded. No, I, I look forward to going on the motorway. That's just very like cool. That's sick, and it's all like built in really, really nicely. Very clever. And I just want to touch on very quickly because it blew my mind. So that logo in the mat there, that's actually done by Hoovering. 
Yeah, it's all done by hoovering and brushing. There's a little stencil over there. Apparently, you you damp the carpet and then you hoover over it and then Basically, something like that. So witchcraft. Flush actually made me the stencil. Uh, you can actually buy them from them. So ah, there we go. Shameless plug. No, no, um, that's fine. We're we're all about plugging on this channel. I'll probably do six adverts on this, so don't worry about that. There we go. So there is. So first, you hoover it all in one direction. Yep. And then you put the stencil, and then you dampen it a little bit with just a little bit of spray, like of water, and just a little bit, not too much. And then you get a brush, and then nah. you just brush it in the other direction. With Hell. The stencil on top, and it can be your logo. There we go. So detailers, nice little touch for your logo. Lovely. Yeah, I remember the first time I picked up a car. Actually, even when they did the stripes in the in the mats, my mind was blown. I was very very happy that day. Right. I think then it's time to go for a spin, and we'll discuss before what? the spin. What boot build? How could I forget? I'm terribly sorry, Andrew. <laughs> All right, let's get in here then. Sorry. I, do you know what? I got overexcited. <laughs> I just wanted a lap around YouTube Square. Well, I'll let that focus. In we go then, sir. You ready? Yes. That is hell. So one thing with plus, what are we looking at then? So here you've got the boot build, uh, which a lot of people with air tend to do on their cars. Yeah. That gold thing that you see at the bottom, Yep. If your camera picks it up, is my air tank and compressor, which is AccuAir done endo, endo CVT tank. So everything's all in built in the compressor in the tank. Um, and then you've got my logo with a bit of Perspex all etched in. And if you look, and I only noticed this yesterday, they mimic the hexagons is the same as the hexagons on my grill. That's very, very rich, I must say. So as I say, attention to detail. And then there's my logo, then there's the plush logo, and all the piping and wiring. And Whatever's underneath there, I don't know any of that. Wow, and that's all actually custom fabricated to fit into that, into yeah, there. I mean, awesome. it looks as OEM as that can look. It looks all proper, properly well done. It doesn't look like it shouldn't be. Though. No, that's that's sick. I actually really enjoy that. Maybe I should, maybe I should bag one of my cars. Should I bag the pista? Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, there and we the go. Pista, well, put it this way, <laughs> first ever pista ever bagged, so statement. I would get so much abuse from my audience if I did that, that's but fine. they abuse me anyway, that's so it's fine. fine. How much then? If I've got an Audi R8 V10 Plus and I say, oi, plush, sort me out, what's retail? What are we going for? Retail, I don't know, because a lot of it is custom. So I reckon, I reckon, without going with all the fancy boot builds and stuff, I reckon maybe about six grand without a boot build, maybe more, I don't know. Honestly. Six don't... bags, excuse the pun. Minimum, minimum, minimum. Okay. Actually, it depends. So you're talking six. 6k thereabouts don't worry it's not gospel no one believes anything anyone says on this channel anyway the, the, um, the, uh, so just for the air out and the struts oh wow so custom work done probably a bit more wow so we're looking at maybe 8k i'm just throwing that figure out there I'd say May, nine. maybe nine nine sounds better so we're saying about 9k for the wheels 9k for the the air ride and all this jazz in here a couple of grand for the wrap it's getting pr quite pricey andrew you're a very rich man. It's a decision of my life. However, there is no regrets whatsoever. I absolutely love it. I like being different, and that's why I've gone for everything that I've done. And that is what it's all about. I mean, you and me both, I have wasted so much money on cars. But as I've always said, money is only wasted if you don't enjoy wasting it. There we go, you can use that. I enjoy it every second that I'm in this car, every second that I look at this car. So I'm Perfect. That's what it's all about, mate. So should we, should we have a little lap of YouTube Square? Because we are churning, so it, it would only be right. Yeah. No Perfect. We're in, the GoPro's on, the car's on, we're on YouTube Square, life is good. Should you go for a spin then? First things first, let me raise it up a little bit. Let's raise it up. Goodness me, that's quite disconcerting. <laughs> <laughs> Put it into drive, make sure no one's there. Here we go. So we were just having a little chat then off camera. Um, you have started YouTube, you've done some vlogs. Yep. We were discussing the pros and cons of YouTube and, and, and how it all is and editing videos and nonsense. What's going on here? What's happened? My cat is floating around everywhere. Oh, that's my dash cam. Oh, hell. <laughs> are, we, are we being recorded two times over? We are being recorded, but that's just facing that way. Wonderful stuff. I'll send you an invoice for that, mate. <laughs> um, I'll have to sign a release form or some such jazz. Um, so, yeah. Andrew is actually on YouTube, so I'll leave his link to the channel below. You do vlog stuff? Yeah, mainly vlogs, creative stuff, car stuff, photography and stuff. And his Instagram's actually sick. This isn't one of those people I send you to Instagram and it's <laughs> them eating toast with their nan. Like, his Instagram's actually sick. Uh, his photography's way better than mine, so go and check that out. Actually do that, genuinely. It's very, very good. It's better than my rubbish. Um, so then, plans for the car, plans for YouTube, plans with life? So YouTube, just vlogs and trying to make it a bit more cinematic than it currently is and just continue creating content. So we mainly just do 
We did a lot of cosplay, so we did a Spider-Man shoot, we did an It 2 shoot. Oh, sick. We did Breaking Bad, we've done loads of stuff with smoke bombs. So we do a lot, uh, and nice. I try to document that just to show like a few behind the scenes. Yeah. But I also go to a car, loads of car shows, so I was at Ultimate Dubs a couple of days ago. Okay. I was at Fuel Fest, obviously in summer. So I try to document all of that. So oh, that's decent. it with the content. Perfecto, this sounds a bit different to the usual dribble that the likes of me punt out. Apologies for that, the GoPro cutter is now time to end the video. I've got to get back for Chris. He's very, very hungry. I want to come over here. I want to say a huge thanks. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And all the best with the car. Thank and you. as I say, do keep in touch with Andrew on his Instagram. Ciao for now. Subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye.